Hello, this video covers the installation of the Tor Brakes modification kit for the ProFly Trainer Puma. If you own a Puma, you can order that kit on our website and, and post install the modification kit on your Puma for Tor Brakes action. Start by removing four screws, two on each side. The two screws hold the round tube over the square pedal frame. Once the screws are out, you can slide the round tubing to the left and right and go to a flat surface and prepare the end caps. You first place the end caps on the flat surface and then push the round tubing over the end caps. Normally, hand strength uh, is enough to push the tube. If not, then uh, if you can use a light hammer and gently hammer the tube down over the end caps. Once that's done, you can put them back uh, over the square framing of the pedal assy. You can then take one of the toe brakes assy, uh, the picture showing the right side, and place them over the round tubing, aligning the holes. You should see, you see the holes of the toll brakes uh, assy and you can align that. This is how the assy fits over the round tubing and it's a nice tight fit. You can also pay attention to the wiring. Ideally you pass the wiring under the main pedal assy screw so that it never get jammed and it has enough um, free space to move. Put the longer screw that are provided with the kit into the previous holes and tighten it. You no need to over tight as long as the screw is, is nicely in and stops once you tighten it should be fine. Repeat the same process for the left uh, pedal toe brakes kit and same with the wiring you want to go under the main axis screw. Pass all the wiring all the way through the pedal channel to the PCB box and remove the two lock nuts to open the box cover. You might have uh, one of the newer PCB that has like a black background. On your game controller you would see it as listed as proflytrainer.com and it, that's how it would look like with the black background. The the axes that you're looking for are G and F located uh, about in the middle lower section of the board next to the other wiring plugged in. You might have your PC be listed at ProFlight Trainer. That means that you would have the revision 1.1 of the board which looks green but the axis that you would plug the tow brakes wiring in are the same, G and F, next to the other axis. Once that's done, you need to calibrate the unit. We advise that during calibration you place the washers provided so that this will create a null zone, no signal zone when the brakes are fully released so that you don't have any signal coming in to your simulator. If you're using Xplane 11, it's important that you download the pre-configuration joystick file that are available on our website. If uh, you haven't done so, we have another video showing how to install, copy, paste those joy files into your Xplane resource and joystick configuration folder. The advantage of doing so is that you would have Xplane 11. Uh, default settings pre-configured for the toe brakes modification and then the left toe brake and right toe brake axis would be automatically assigned to your simulator. You still need to calibrate the explain to make sure uh, maximum and minimum position of the axis are well calibrated. Within Aerofly FS2 the axis assignment you need to do are on the left wheel brake and the right wheel brake. Within DCS there's only one axis wheel brake that you, at which you can assign either left or right axis up to you. 
that uh, as far as we know there is no intent from DCS to add a separate access for that because the helicopter don't need that. On Prepare 3D you have break left axis, break right axis that you can assign. Same for Flight Simulator X if you're still running that. Check uh, within the 3D cockpit, virtual cockpit, if the axis moves the right way. Not every aircraft has a visual animation, so you might have to fly, taxi around and check if the brakes works properly. In x 10, the axis names are the same, left to brake, right to brake. You might have to reverse some of the axis, so just taxi around with a Cessna 172 or something and check the function uh, on each side. In take on, the, take on the helicopter, the axis is called wheel brake hold release, and that should work. That's all, the installation is completed. Uh, we hope that you have a lot of fun with this new uh, modification, 3D printed modification. If you have any input issue, as usual, feel free to write to us either uh, by using our website and uh, support request. Or you can also comment into the YouTube section. Or if you are not already part of the Pro Flight Trainer Facebook uh, owner group, then feel free to go there, enter the group, and ask questions there. There's a big community that can help. Happy landings!